Play peanut butter jelly time. It's peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. Way yeah. So today I'm going to be doing a uh, get ready with get ready with me and I'm gonna just be trying new stuff I asked you guys on Twitter what kind of video I should do most of you guys said chit chat get ready with me so that's what I'm gonna be doing we're just gonna like chit chat and do our makeup and see how this goes before I start I want to ask you guys one quick question what do you guys want to see like what kind of videos do you guys want to see because I feel like Whenever I make a video that I was like really excited about, it doesn't get as many views as the videos that you guys request. Of course, because you guys requested it, you guys wanted to see it. What are you guys more likely to click on? What kind of videos do you like? And I can deliver that for you. So I have some new primers. Um, I just got a brand new primer. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. Um, this is a replenishing face primer with coconut water, probiotic based ingredients, and Skin revivers so it's basically supposed to like make you look like you had like 30 hours of sleep I get a lot of sleep anyway so that's not really a problem for me yep I smell the coconut I smell it I'm not a fan of coconut like almond joys pina coladas anything with coconut in it literally makes me like <clears throat> I like coconut in like my face ingredients though this feels great actually but yeah I have I have mainly oily skin but I find that the more hydrated my face is the better my makeup goes on so I kind of just deal with the oiliness because I would rather have moisturized skin yes. do I immediately see a difference no but it feels good I've been trying out this pore vanishing stick by the Estee edit I've actually been trying a lot of the Estee edits products my skin be like crocodile-y sometimes. Do you like alligators? <laughs> 10 bucks to whoever can tell me where that, what line that's from. It's from a TV show, I'll give you a hint. It's from a TV show from a long time ago. So I'm just spreading this on my skin. It's been getting cooler outside. I'm not excited about it. You guys know winter is not my favorite. It used to be when I lived in Texas, but now that I live in the North Pole, it's like, mm -mm. I'm gonna need a cuddle buddy soon. I'm, I'm on the hunt for a puppy <laughs> because this just, this winter is not gonna work. So now we're gonna go in with our foundation. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the color Amber. So remember I did a review on this? I did, with, I did it with the color Chestnut. We're gonna see how this looks. Spread that evenly over the skin. Might have to go on the outer edges with a darker foundation. I usually contour anyway, so. So does anybody else like, I mean, I'm not even just saying this like complaining like about my channel or whatever, but have you been noticing that like videos, they're not as compelling as they used to be. Like I feel like everybody's done everything already. I don't know, I just really wanna know what people wanna see because I'm trying to figure out what I wanna see. Cause when I see people upload videos, I don't really click on them like I used to, you know what I mean? I don't know, it's kind of sad. It's like, what else can we do now? Yeah, I'm gonna need to go over over my outer perimeter of my face do y'all see the sun trying to play me right now did i ask you to do this like bro stop it stop it nobody asked you the sun be playing me because it be like gloomy all day and then the moment i try to film the sun want to peek through and be like haha you thought so this foundation color is definitely better than chestnut this will have to do i got this thing from tart it's called the Contouring Face Lenderizer, the Sculptor. So uh, this is the color Park Avenue Princess. So we're gonna try that. Why did I draw like that? 
This might be a little too red for me, actually. I don't know how I feel about this. We're gonna blend it out. Incline. Oh darn, I didn't highlight. What am I doing with my life? So, I don't know about this contour. I mean, it's kind of red. It's too late to turn back now, right? So, I'm gonna use my new favorite concealer, and this is the Too Faced uh, Born This Way Concealer, Naturally Radiant. And this concealer also has coconut oil, coconut oil, coconut water in it, so it's also hydrating. Not an eye lift, but it just makes my, my under eyes so plump. You know what I mean? Like, it keeps my under eyes from getting, like, really dry. The thing about this concealer, that I do different from other concealers is I let this one sit and kind of marinate before I blend it out. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll put it on and I'll kind of let it dry a little. I'm gonna take my precisely my brow pencil from Benefit. My eyebrows are super full because I'm growing them out. My eyebrows are skinny thick, bro. I'm gonna take a precise brush and my contour kit by Cover Effects that I love so dearly and I'm going to outline my eyebrows. Oh, I'm really hungry. Sorry, I can't talk while I do my eyebrows. But eyebrows on fleek, though. Hey, hey, hey. It's Fat Albert. And I'm going to blend out all of this concealer. And as you can see, the concealer, once it's set, it doesn't really move a lot. That way it doesn't, like, crease on me as much because... It's pretty much set in place itself. And I kind of blend down this concealer all over my eye too because I'm gonna be wearing eyeshadow, so I might as well lay a base. So I have on a lot, I have on a lot of concealer. So we're gonna powder this first. Studio Fix Powder in the color NC43, which is a little lighter than my skin tone, and set that concealer. And I like to use this powder first before I do my um, setting powder, like my translucent setting powder. Cause sometimes when you put on like translucent powder right on top of your concealer, it kind of like doesn't go on as smooth as it could. I feel like this powder gives a smooth base first. It's wiped away like all of my contour, but it's fine. I don't really like it anyways. So I have this setting powder. I've had it for a while. I just never really tried it. It's the RCMA no color setting powder. And I've heard that this one is just like the Laura Mercier powder, which Wow. So I'm gonna um, try it out today. I'm gonna put it in the cap and I'm gonna lightly press it over the areas that I just powdered. Mm. Oh yes. Well, it's definitely setting, I'll tell you that. And it definitely has no color. Like even though it's like super white, it's not coming off white on my face. You can definitely see it blending in really well. And it was only 10 bucks. I think I got it from Camera Ready Cosmetics. But this is nice, oh my goodness. I mean, it's really soft, like it doesn't feel like chalky at all. It's definitely blending into my skin nicely. It's getting rid of my shine. We'll see how long it lasts, but for the most part, it's looking pretty legit. I don't know, we might have found a dupe. Okay, RCMA, I see you. I've already been talking, how, talking about how much I love this Half Hearted Contour by Makeup Geek, so I'm gonna use that per the usual. Makeup Geek Cosmetics is so bomb. I've been like, I used to follow Makeup Geek super heavily when I first like started watching YouTube videos. Well, her and Jackie taught me everything I know about eyeshadows and I never bought Makeup Geek products. When she first got her website, I think I bought some Z palettes from her, but I didn't get the eyeshadows. Nose contour on fleek. Did you guys notice my hair like went back kind of yellow? That toner washed right out. I just doesn't know what to do. My blonde does not want to play with me and it's fine. We don't have to play. We don't have to play no games, big fella. I'm also gonna apply blush and stuff too before I do my eyes. I don't know why, but I'm gonna use the blush Covet and we're just gonna dust that over our cheek area. I always have to make this face, this one right here. I'm gonna put on my blush. And <clears throat> of course, I'm gonna use my highlighter from Taraji Collection. And I have to use this highlighter because if I don't, I don't know what life is. I can't not use it, you know? You know what I miss? I miss my Mary Luminizer. Where is she? I miss my Mary Lou. I haven't used my Mary Luminizer in so long because she does this to me. Look at this. <laughs> That's why I miss you, boo. 
This is why I missed you. So we're just gonna apply a little tiny bit of that to the cheek area. Just a smidget. This highlighter is so bomb. Like, I don't know why I stopped using it, but it's just a bomb highlighter, man. What was I doing without that in my life? Blend that in a little bit. Yeah, we're done with our eyebrows and everything else. I didn't put on eye gel, eyebrow gel. Let's do that. And I like to use a lighter eyebrow gel, like a brown one, because that helps to like make my eyebrows a little bit lighter. Clearly my hair is not black. Having black eyebrows is kind of weird to me. Even though I like dark eyebrows with light hair, it's just, I feel like a little bit better about my eyebrows when they're not so dark. So I got a package from Kiss. They sent me three lip colors. So they sent me a gloss, this shiny gloss, which I'm clearly gonna wear because it matches my outfit, right? A really pretty like reddish color and a blue lipstick. They also sent me some eyeshadows. They sent me a purple one, a pink one, and a shiny black one. And I'm thinking about doing a smoky eye because I've been like on a smoky eye kick lately. Uh, I also have a new palette. Um, and this one is the peanut butter jelly palette from Too Faced. And it's so cute, look at it. And it smells like peanut butter, y'all. Like, Because, of course, Too Faced does this to us, guys. They make us buy things that smell amazing and make us want to eat. So I think I'm going to use these in conjunction with these eyeshadows that I got from Kiss. And I, you guys know I'm not like a huge eyeshadow person. So for me to be doing eyeshadows, this is a huge deal. You guys should know this. So I'm going to put a base shadow down, um, peanut butter. I'm going to use that all over my lid and my crease area to kind of get the ball rolling. And when I do my smoky eyes, I like to work from like the crease down instead of working from the lid up. All right, now I'm going to take this pink color and this is called Dahlia. I can never open stuff. I have the hardest time opening things. This is the eyeshadow. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. This is Luxie. 231 small tapered blending brush. I'm gonna transition into this color because it's so bright. I'm gonna use this bottom color here, Nuts About You. I'm gonna lightly feather that into the crease area here. And the key to a good smoky eye is to take your time, okay? Because we don't wanna mess this up. Because if I mess this up, I'm taking all my makeup off. I'm going to bed very lightly. I'm not pressing hard at all. Yas. I'm liking this peanut butter jelly palette. So now I'm gonna actually use a very a more precise brush. This one is from London Brush Company and it's really pointy. And I'm gonna take this pink really carefully, ever so gingerly. And I'm gonna put this in my crease area to kind of pinkify it. Cause you wanna transition well into this purple, you know what I'm saying? And then you wanna go back with your other brush that you just used and you want to blend that out. But do you ever feel like your like crease is like not creasy? It doesn't want to work with me. Like it's kind of hooded almost. The key to a good eye look is patience, guys. But I got all day, so we gonna sit here and blend away. Bars! Somebody sign me, please. I got bars, y'all. I got bars. All right, so now I'm gonna use this purple African Violet. It's a really beautiful purple color. I'm gonna use this one before I go over top of it with this color jelly because this color jelly, though, and this purple is very pigmented. And I'm gonna move closer to the lid area, on the lid, but closer to the crease, and apply that purple. And we're gonna blend that in with that pink. So we're taking it on down, taking it on down. I like this purple. This purple is showing up nice. I'm actually going to put the purple all over the lid now. Yeah, there's not a lot of fallout with this eyeshadow too, so I'm actually really impressed. I'm blending that into that crease color. I like this brush too. What brush is this? This is the London Brush Company. It doesn't have any numbers on it, but I remember getting these from the makeup show last year. So, Okay, so liking this purple a lot. So I'm going to go in with this color Jelly from the Too Faced palette and go like right here in the center and add that on top and it gives like a nice iridescent purple. It's kind of like a little more shiny. I'm gonna add a little jamming to the outer corner. And it's kind of like a dark purple. 
It's actually got a little sparkle in it too. Oh. I see you jamming. I see you jamming. And I'm gonna take my crease brush again and blend it again, very lightly. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of glitter which is something I normally don't do. I got the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner and it looks like this. So, um, well, I forgot what I was saying. I put on the glitter and I don't know if I like it as much now with the glitter. I think I'm gonna go back and add some more shadow on top. Kind of hide it a little. Yeah, I don't have a choice. Okay, so glitter's on. So I'm gonna take that same brush that I was using for my crease. I'm gonna take Nuts About You and I'm gonna start that lower lash line process. And because it already had the pink on the brush a little bit, it's probably gonna be a little pink. And I'm gonna take the color Jammin' from the peanut butter palette. I'm uh, gonna get really close to that lash line. I think I like jamming. Hello? Hello, this call is to remind you of your appointment on October 8th, 1045 and to confirm your appointment, press one. To cancel, press nine. Press, thank you. Your appointment has been confirmed. Goodbye. So I added the color jammin', which I like. I feel like now I look real smoky. Oh, by the way guys, while my camera cut off and I didn't know it, I added some of the Mai Tai and there's another color that I added. I'm gonna put it in the description box, but it's by Makeup Geek and it's one of their duo chrome shadows. Um, those shadows are so pretty. I always add them to the inner corner and I just make my whole look pop. So, so I'm liking this purple look. Like it's looking real like, pretty smoky purple like between the kiss shadows and the peanut butter jelly palette I feel like we're really doing something today so peanut butter jelly palette is my new fave and these kiss eyeshadows are amazing for them to be like inexpensive brand these these eyeshadows are like really good like I'm really impressed with them I'm gonna use this black eyeshadow by kiss and this is the color midnight minute but that's what it looks like it's actually a gunmetal kind of color I'm gonna take the brush that I use the purple so it doesn't like take away from the purple too much in my outer V I'm gonna add that to my outer V just to like darken it a little bit do you see that adding that smoke though yes come through smoke and I like that it's not too black so it's not like making it super dark it's just adding just enough smokiness to the outer V to really give it that smoky pop you know I also think I'm gonna add a little bit to the inner corner Give it kind of like that halo effect. Yup, that's doing it. You guys, I'm not like a genius or anything when it comes to eyeshadow, but today we're really killing it. Blend that out ever so gently. When in doubt, blend it out. With my um, setting brush here, just gonna take that and lightly dust underneath to kind of blend out the edges. Okay, I'm gonna put my, la my lashes on and I'm gonna come back. So. We've got the lashes on. This is Egoism Matte Velvet Lipstick and the color is Coco Ravish. I'm gonna line my lips first. This is BFF3. It's my favorite lip liner ever. Mm -mm. No, that does not go. I have a blue one. Maybe we can make purple. This is real blue, y'all. Woo, look at that. Maybe we can fix it. I have this grape jelly lip gloss from Anastasia. We can try that. I mean, we're, we're peanut butter jelly all the way to the socks. But, let's see, I have... Saint Tropez gloss. It's a lot going on with the lip. I wouldn't normally do this if I wasn't just bored. 
Okay, I went and put some contacts in because I thought it would make my eyes look even more cool. I'm probably gonna take them out because I really can't see anything. Okay, so I took off the lip color and um, I changed the lighting in the back because it matches better with my eyes. I'm gonna use She Bat by ColourPop. And this is just gonna give me a really light nude. And then I'm gonna go over that with my favorite lip gloss, which is Fudged. I love Fudged, it's a nice brown color. This is pretty, this is the Kiss Mirror Shine Gloss. Mm. That's nice, I like that gloss. I like this one a lot better. Now that I've ingested a lot of lip gloss, I think I'm done. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this kind of like talk through, get ready with me kind of thing, um, let me know. I don't know what I'm doing when I do these kind of videos, but I think I like the end result. Yeah, so that is pretty much the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I have a um, green one that I want to do with this color. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, I want to do that so bad. Here's how the look looks like without the contacts because they were not comfortable. And I think I like my eyes better. So this is the finished look. Uh, looked and I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you. Peace out.